He's in there as a wideout. That will get Wisconsin's attention. Nobody behind Greasy now. You got three of them over here together. They set up the screen. Woodson with the ball. Throws it back across to Greasy. Greasy's got a convoy down the sideline. One man to beat. Goes just short of the goal line. They finally knock him out of bounds. Bobby Myers knocked him out of bounds. So Michigan showed you a little razzle-dazzle stuff. Four things that Charles Woodson can do on the Texas. They ran this play last year at the end of the season against Alabama. And Brian... Well, just as he was catching it, dropped it. From the end zone behind us in a backward pass. Woodson, everybody knew he was in the ball game. They just get back. There's a convoy down the sideline. That thump you just heard, that was Bo Schembeck we're fainting. <laughs> Brent, you can't play defense any better than that if you're a free safety. Drew Henson is coming into the game. And Brady was injured on that play. So Drew Henson steps in as the Wolverine quarterback. Thomas goes over to the left. Jack roots down below. We'll check Brady as quickly as we can. Shit. Here comes Diallo Johnson's going to throw it on back. Henson all alone on the right side. Probably a planned play. And Henson is out. Was it a faked injury? We shall find out at the 21-yard line. He's pushed out of bounds. There's no doubt about it, Brent. This was part of their script. Tom Brady's running back out on the field. Drew Henson, a little better mobile quarterback. The double pass by Diallo Johnson, who was a high school quarterback, back to Henson, produces a big play early in this game. To 10 quick Michigan points here, but this play set it up. Brady limps off. Henson comes in, fires to Diallo Johnson, who goes back to Henson, who is down the sideline, and it leads to Michigan's first touchdown. Timeout. What an opener to our doubleheader here this afternoon. If you're just tuning in, Northwestern beat Michigan State four scores in the last couple of minutes. This is a pass. Gonzalez, the backup quarterback, return from Walker, and here goes Gonzalez down the field with a blocker out of bounds at the 21 Michigan dips into the bag of tricks 53 yards later first down Wolverine well they slipped Gonzalez into the lineup and this is a lateral you have to have Marquise Walker back behind Gonzalez it's successfully executed and then the throw back to Gonzalez you know, Mike, I was visiting with Stan Paris, the offensive coordinator for Michigan, just before the game today, and he said you might see some unusual things. And Jermaine Gonzalez, the redshirt freshman quarterback from Pontiac, Michigan, was over with the basketball team the end of last season, and Lloyd Carr told us this kid has really dedicated himself to football. I'm very impressed with him, and you see some of his athletic ability here. Well, he isn't the classic Michigan dropback passer. He's more of an on-the-run passer, an athlete, and that's a great play call. And they, they caught Illinois' defense sleeping on that one. And another big game in their other loss at Oregon. He had 144. Double pass. Preston was a high got school it. quarterback. He has Navarre with lots of room. Navarre inside the 15. Touchdown, Michigan. Can you say trickeration? Trickeration. And how about some life on the Michigan sideline? They set him up with his two screen passes and then a great throw by Breston. And look at the wall. It's like a punt return except with slow alignment. <laughs> well, they took advantage of Minnesota being so aggressive on those screen plays. Garrett Rivas, the freshman, adds the extra point. So Michigan lethargic most of the night on the board now and down by only a touchdown is Preston, who was a quarterback at Woodland Hills High School near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, found Navarre, who did the rest. It's 14-7, Minnesota. 